Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to do a little something different. Now, remember I mentioned that I was going to start messing around with my canner. So, what I've decided to do was I'm going to first pressurize a pressure can some rice. Now, I've never did it before. So I don't know when I'm going to post this video. So by the time you guys see the video, I probably would have already did it. And uh, on to my next project. So today I will be doing rice and I'm going to try my best to use the Homestead Hearts version of uh, canning rice. And I'm going to use the same things. Uh, as far as the ingredients that she did use, which of course is the rice. I'm going to do some plain rice as well as the cilantro with the lemon juice or lime juice, as well as the turmeric uh, with a little basil in it. Now, I'm going to probably do two jars of that, two jars with the cilantro in it, and then three jars of plain rice. This is my first time, so I'm going to try to, I'm not going to take you through the whole and stuff whole process because you know it can get lengthy but i'm gonna show you at least what i do have what i will be working with okay stay tuned okay in my pot i have my rice and some water i have my strainer over here um i have my measuring cup for the rice over here, I have uh, my turmeric, basil, lemon juice. I do have some lime juice. Uh, I want to make sure I'm going to verify if it should be lime juice or lemon juice. And, of course, I have me some. My salt is up there, so I will use that um, to get this process started. So, stay tuned. So the first thing that I will be doing, um, and I'm going to do it off camera because it's, it can become a process, but I'm going to go ahead and wash my rice. And once I get my, my rice washed, then I'll bring you back um, and I might allow you to see the rest of the process that way. So let me wash the rice and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, we're going to get this show on the road. Um, I'm not prob I probably won't do it in the same order she did hers in, but what I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and uh, go through the process of filling my drawers with my half cup of rice. So let's get that started. My half cup. If I measured rice right, <laughs> I should use all of this rice. Um, that was my goal to have it measured out where I'm using the right amount. And I didn't have like just excess rice laying over. So this is my first time ever <laughs> pressure can. So and I know I didn't miss measure because I actually measured the rice while it was dry. 
So, I can see why. Homestead Heart said, make sure you don't go over that half a cup. First measured this rice and it was dry. I mean exact one half cups. And look, I still have enough to probably do seven more jars. So now what I'm gonna do, um I'm sorry, I don't want to touch my hair and I'm gonna agree to touch this stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do God darn it, I did one of her numbers. So Two of them I got to empty out because I don't know if it make a difference. You know what? I'm not going to do it. Because <laughs> I don't feel like taking it out. And since you're going to swish it anyway, I'm going to leave it alone. So she added a tight... Open up. Got lemon juice. She added a tablespoon of lemon juice to the one that she had the cilantro in. So that's what I'm going to do. Mind you, I've never had this before, and if I did, I didn't know I, that's what I had. So, those are done, and I know it probably wouldn't have hurt it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, she did the tablespoon of cilantro. So that's what I'm going to do. One. Two. And as you guys can see, I only have like a little bit left. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that too. Because I don't have no other use for it anytime soon. So it may be little, a tablespoon, and maybe a fourth of a tablespoon in each extra. It's probably not even enough to tell the difference once it uh, cooked down. Okay, so that's that. And with this one here, I'm gonna go ahead on Actually, I'm going to wait. Now I'm going to do my turmeric. I've never opened this here up. And <laughs> I've been wanting to do this here uh, when, so, uh, for a while. I said, as soon as I get my pressure can, I said, I'm going to do my pressure can. I'm going to do it. Number one, I probably shouldn't do it because I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, already don't need a lot of storage. But these are a fourth tablespoons so I'm gonna use two of them didn't have the eight so and I didn't use the four two I kind of did one and a little bit of each I me mean another one uh then she, <clears throat> excuse me she did the same thing with the basil. So, I love basil, so if I get a little heavy on it, I'm okay. But I'm not gonna try to go crazy. I will use two, um, two of the one fourth in each. So, uh, my own homegrown basil. Don't need that anymore. And the salt. So I have my Himalaya pink salt. Got a half a teaspoon of that. So all I have to do is drop that in each one.
Okay. So I'm going to start filling the waters up. Me fill them up with water. Be right back. So I was going to try to bring you over here, but I can't. So we're going to start filling the waters up. Me the jars up with water. Next time I'm going to use my measuring cup and just start pouring. Now, I left three of the jars with just regular rice. Um, it's not like I don't have any more rice, but I still wanted to see the difference. So maybe in the future, um, I'll do more of the flavored rice after I see if I like it or not. And yeah, go from there. So again, remember guys, I keep saying, this is my first time a, a pressure can and I am excited I'm not nervous I'm not nervous I mean at this point you can't even keep going you gotta uh brush off any nervousness that you got um I read my book <laughs> I watched tons of videos from different people and I mean, at this point, it's pretty much, girl, get on in there and do it, you know? And someone else probably said it. Huh. But it's always gonna be a first time for something. So what are you going to do? I mean, remember your first time riding a bike? You fell and you got back up and you tried again. That's the only way I could think of it. Because. Okay. All my jars are filled up. My vinegar. A little napkin. So, before I do this, though, I'm going to debubble. Pretty much, I'm going to stir everything up. How this uh, turmeric uh, <laughs> and basil and rice is going to taste, but I can say, you know, um, I like yellow rice. Um, I've never done it myself like this, so this is going to be a first. 
and I know I'm mixing my debubbler in these different flavors. It'll be okay. I'm not telling you to do it, but I'm gonna eat this here, not you. So, and that's not to be rude. I am debubbling because some people don't do that. <laughs> they miss that step all the way around. So I can see I might need to add a little bit more of water to make sure it's at the proper headspace. now okay one more time we'll go back over it I do the plain rice first <laughs> Okay, so everything is debubbled. I have my, excuse me, my vinegar. I'm gonna go ahead on and clean my lids, but first, give me a second. 